and hard already. Hey, hey, hey. Come on in and join me. Lots to talk about. Hey, Carla, your house is looking beautiful. Calling in, calling in the forces. Come on in and join me. Lots to talk about. We're sitting in the dark of the moon energy. Let's talk about the guidance to come forward for this week. Come on in and join me. I've got this beautiful third eye bowl. Beautiful indigo color. Come on in and join me. One more moment. Let everybody catch up. We come over here and start it over on Instagram. Let's make sure we've got it streaming in the Empowered Spirit Circle as well. Let me go over here and look and see if I can find it. What is going on, everybody? What a beautiful weekend we had. Just really, really beautiful. Give me a thumbs up. Hashtag beautiful weekend, right? Definitely. All right, let me come over here and see if I can find it, and then we're going to get started. Over here in the Empowered Spirit Circle, we have a lot going on. I'll be live for the new moon on Tuesday. Been doing a little bit of hashtag Woo Wednesday. So definitely come join us if you're not in the group. We have a lot of fun over there. There will be, all right, I see it. There will be another boot camp coming up in the fall. All right, let me come over here and live stream it to Instagram. Hey, 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 everybody. Here we go. Live streaming on Instagram, Facebook. It's a Sunday night. Sunday night. I didn't want to let go of my weekend. We had so much fun. The stars out at the medicine wheel were so freaking amazing. Hey, Kika. Oh my God. The stars were just beautiful. We saw Jupiter and Saturn. We saw Mars. I was up like every couple hours just looking up. We saw Venus. Love you too, Kika. We saw a very little sliver. We're dark of the moon, so very little sliver. And then that beautiful moon. I mean, that beautiful sun rose. So beautiful. All right. Opening up that third eye center. Calling in. Calling in everyone. Yes, let's align our energy for the week. Come on in and join me for sure. It was a beautiful weekend. One of the things I noticed, and we'll get started. One of the things I noticed was the rhythm of all the sounds out at the lake. We camped out. The stars are amazing, like I was saying. And then when the sun started to come up, all those tree frogs, all that chirping, chirping, all those tree frogs started to fade. There was just such beautiful synchronicity in life and the cycles and the light. And oh my gosh, working in rhythm, really beautiful. One mind, we're going to talk about that today. One mind, being in that consciousness, definitely. All right, I believe I've got it streaming. Hey, Paul, thanks for joining. Had fun weekend. Come on in. Give me a thumbs up if you're here. Give me hashtag weekend, right? We're heavy into the end of summer, coming there. All of that energy, and it really is very interesting how it plays out. All right, so let's just take a moment. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. <sighs> welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Terry Ann Hyman here. This is my live stream for the Empowered Spirit Show. We come on, we focus our energy, we bring it in. Sometimes Mondays are hard, right? So we use this opportunity to reset our energy, to set some intentions for the week, and really kind of look at what is going on in the cosmic forces. All right, today we're in the dark of the moon, all right? The moon is in Cancer. The dark of the moon is when it goes really where we don't see the light. There's not that reflection coming in from the sun, all right? Because really that's what the moon does. So sometimes that can make us feel a little bit heavy, a little bit dark in our energy, and especially when we have the influx of that cancer energy, right? That's that energy of emotions and mothering. It's also intuitive, right? But sometimes it can pull us a little bit down. So just like, we know that this is going on and don't allow yourself to go too far down. We do need to look at shadows right now. We do need to look at what's not working. Not always the easiest, but when we work through it, we feel so much better, and then we can open up to new paths, all right? One of the things we talk about right now, all right? And one of the things coming in as we move into the new moon on Tuesday is like, really, what are those new intentions? 
It's time to really reset those new passions, those new purposes for you. Nothing is the same. Nothing's going back to how it was. And this new moon coming in on Tuesday can really help you to find the fire, the passion, the purpose, and really reset your path. It really is the opportunity to do that, right? We can do it with that some of that fire, right? The new moon's also hit on the north nodes. The north node is our purpose. It moved into Gemini this past year. So really that, <clears throat> really that opening up, research, expansion, the duality, look at the other side. Right? If we're always trying to do things from the same way, it's not going to work. So when we go to make changes, we have to move through some of the energy that may not be comfortable. All right? And I was talking to Mark Gober. He's on the podcast again this week. Excellent, excellent, excellent show. The end of Upside Down Living. And he has been through a lot. He came from a business world. He just started listening and just due to some of his own health stuff. Hey, Lainey, dream woman, I want to have you back on the podcast. Good to see you. He starts talking about how his whole life changed, and it's like really the consciousness, where is it coming from? The brain? Did it come first, or did consciousness come first? Right? And if we recognize that consciousness is of this one mind, that we can be out there creating the reality we want now and living a whole nother way, definitely what is needed right now. Definitely check out the podcast, and that is the energy coming forward as we move into this Leo new moon on Tuesday. It is a time to set those intentions to work through what isn't working. I know for myself, I've had to work through some of my own stuff this year. I've had to find the patience to do it, all right? The tendency is to want to go back to the old way of doing it, all right? The tendency is to want to keep repeating the same thing over and over. It's quicker, we think. It's easier, we know how. No. And one of the things that we can do and work through old habits and change there are tools. There are t so many energy tools. Breath, right? Right now, I'm working on a four-count breath to help me move through some of these changes. And it's working. That's the beautiful thing. All right? We know that it's not going back. We know. I smell the sage. We know that we have to make shifts and changes. So what are those changes for you? And as we can really work with the energy going on, work with this different state of consciousness. Thanks, Mercedes. You listened to it twice. I listened to it about three times to realize everything we talked about. I'll be honest. And I was interviewing, right? But if we can find that one consciousness, if we can work with each other, find the better places of where you want to live your life. We've had this period of COVID to like, okay, what's working, what's not. I've had to be at home. I've had to be with my family, my kids, whatever. What's working? What is making you happy? What is inspiring you to step to that new path? And that's exactly the energy that we're coming into as we move through the week. All right, so tomorrow, Monday, we still have a little bit more of this dark of the moon, a little bit more of this, of this emotional energy, all right? And we have some Mars energy going on. So watch your words, watch your actions, but use that higher vibration to step forward, to take a chance with yourself. Take a chance with yourself. There's so many things we can do now, all right? And one of the lessons for this week is... Not to get caught in what isn't working, all right? It's easy to do. It's easy to complain. It's easy to stay stuck. It's easier to say, like, oh, my gosh, I'll never make it. Believe me, I got things I'm working through, let me tell you. But when we find the things that are working, all right, it's like for me, it's like every time we keep going to the medicine wheel and keep camping out over the weekend and looking at the stars and feeling that natural rhythm of life, I feel so much better. And you could do the same thing. Go to what's working. Go to the practices Find the tools that can help you bust through what we're going through now. And that's the best way to work through it. I'll be honest, we know it's going to get a little more intense as we move through these next few weeks. We just know that. We're going to see what's going to happen with kids going back to <coughs> school. The sage is getting in me. <coughs> we're going to see that. And so we're going to have to be prepared, all right? So ground your energy. All right, as we move toward the new moon, towards the end of the week, we have it coming into Virgo, and that'll be the opportunity to some ground, some of what that purpose is for you. So it really is a good week. We do need to watch out for that Mars energy. We need to be careful not to fight, not to be too assertive. Sometimes that Leo and Mars can make you more assertive than wanting your opinion heard. All right, so breathe. We're going to do a little four-count breathing today. <clears throat> Use your energy to let go of what isn't working for you and start to make some plans for moving forward. All right, we're coming to the end of summer and the tendency towards the end of summer is just to get tired and hot and not want to do anything. Go look at your garden. All right, I've been weeding mine a little bit. Got to get back out there. 
And that can be reflected in your own self. All right? Do you need to clean up your body? Do you need to clean up your the way you appear? Do you need to clear up your mind? That's a lot going on for a lot of people. Clear up that mind. But when we can find what is working and find that inspiration, we've talked about this, we lift the vibration, and we can feel so much better with where we are right now. All right? So just to recap, as we begin the week, we're in this dark of the moon energy. So careful, do your meditation, especially Reiki, run your energy, whatever the tools are. And again, like I've said, there's so many tools. Everybody needs a tool or more, all right? Whether it's deep breathing, whether it's yoga, whether it's Reiki energy, you definitely need an energy modality, all right? Whether it's touch therapy, Reiki, pranic healing, whatever that one is, you definitely need to work on the energy body. I just 100% believe that. But breath, meditation, sound healing, color healing, Crystal healing. Get your crystals out, all right? I wear mine all the time. But this is what's going to help you move through these changes now. New moon on Tuesday. That's where you get to write down all of those new intentions. Join me in the Empowered Spirit Circle Tuesday. I will definitely do a morning meditation. Have to check the time of the new moon. I like to do it right on the new moon, not before. We'll do that to set these new intentions for your purpose, for what you want to set forward new, all right? Halfway, more than halfway through 2020. All right, we've got to get out of it. 2021 is going to be totally different. Where do you want to find yourself at that time? And that's the things we start to work on, one step at a time. And even if it feels uncomfortable, know that the more you do it, the better it is going to be for you, for sure, definitely. Then as we move towards the end of the week, we move into Virgo. Sun moves into Virgo season. That's that earth energy. That's a being of service. That's a more grounded feeling. We're all going to be able to work with that, especially as we move into the September month. All right, so just see how that is for you. Notice how you're feeling. Lift your vibration. Be prepared for that new moon that comes in on Tuesday. All right, so let's take a moment and join our energies together and come into that energy of one mind. Consciousness. Where is your consciousness right now? Where are you putting your intention? Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Try the sage again. It got into me. Inhaling. And just pull your energy in, all right? I know sometimes sun, uh, Sunday nights can pre create a little anxiety, having to go back to work and all the things going on that you left on Friday. But just try for a moment. Coming in. Pull your energy closer to you. Call in your spiritual body. Call in your higher self and feel that alignment coming in for you. As we take this time to align our energies for this week, inhaling and exhaling. Here we are in this season of summer for us in this hemisphere. As we work with the medicine wheel, the teachings of life, we find this season in the direction of the South. The South is where we look for that patience with our own life to grow, to have fun, to be wild, to make shifts. To bring in that divine feminine, that creativity of our life, calling in all the directions for guidance and protection to the south, the west, the north, and the east, above us, below us, calling into your spirit, calling into that very center, feeling yourself connecting with Mother Earth. And let's just take a few breaths as we inhale for a count of four and exhale for a count of four, inhaling. And exhaling. Inhaling. And exhaling. Feel that rhythm for you. Inhaling. And exhaling. A couple more times. Feel yourself slowing down, centering the energy as you bring the breath up and exhale it back down. Just sending a little Reiki out to everyone. Just allow yourself to calm down for a moment. A lot of energy going on in the cosmos, in the world at large. And bring in that awareness right into your heart now. Taking this time to drop into the heart to notice how you're feeling. Using the vibrations of that moon and cancer energy, just feel into your heart, 
that place of nurturing your own self. And now bring that energy of vibration, bring it up into the third eye as you begin to set your intention for this week, right into that third eye center. See this energy coming in for you. And as you see this coming in, notice how it makes you feel. Notice how it lifts your energy, the joy, the peace, the light, the love, whatever it is for you. And just radiate that energy all the way out around you. Radiate through your org field. Just let yourself send these radiant vibrations out. And just make an imprint of how it feels for you. So you can return to this energy vibration all week, helping you to attract these energies, these intentions for your week. And just release that attachment. But no, no, this vibration, this is your frequency for the week. Inhaling. And exhaling. Pulling your energy right into the very center. And just feel your feet grounding on Mother Earth. Bringing the awareness back. You allow yourself to take these intentions out into your work week. Coming back. All right, one mind. So we do have some beautiful cards this week. We have three major arcanas that came in. So yes, some big shifts of energy. The first one is the star card. All right, but it was reversed. So the star card is really all about like not letting yourself get lost, not letting yourself lose hope, perfect for the dark of the moon, reminding yourself that there is that guiding light for you out there. So because it's reversed, we have to remind ourselves to turn this around, to really tap in, look at the stars. I can tell you how empowering it is to be outside and feel that light, that vibration shining down. So renew that hope in your own guiding light, all right? Look up at the stars, renew that hope, don't give up. This is not a time to give up, I can promise you that. Not a time to give up, all right? Now if you chose card one, this card is the Sun of Pentacles, and this was also reversed. So the Sun of Pentacles is really somebody that's very methodical, very one-pointed, He's doing his work, it's pentacles, it's grounded energy, but because it's reversed, I always like to say, like, are you getting a bigger picture, all right? Are you too tunnel focused, like really caught in the same things, especially the same things that aren't working, like we were talking about? So allow yourself, in order to find the way to renew this energy, open your perspective, all right? Look at the bigger picture, look beyond all this 2020, that can help, and know that you have time to get there. All right, if you drew card number two, this is the lover's card. All right, I love her card. All right, in the traditional deck, it has a lot to do with divine love for yourself and being good and treating yourself well. In her particular deck, she really shows you these two geese flying. And like, all is imperfection. All right, even with all this distraught in the world, all is imperfection. This is how we grow. This is how we learn. This is also about the grace in your life. All right, how you as an individual can be at one as well with the collective, that one mind, and fly along at that even rate. Be in that cycle of life, all right? And it can also, too, mean like with your partner. Like, find a way to really come to that place. All right, and the beautiful thing is, like, it's not showing, like, two people mesh together. No, it's showing them each flying at a beautiful pace together. So they each have their own path, but together there is that love as well. So this is a really beautiful card, and I really love the thought of, all is imperfection. All right, even with the struggles of the world, this is what we need to break down, and this is how we're going to rebuild. Find the grace for you this week, all right? Really important. Find the grace, especially as you help you help helps you to renew that shining light for you. Now, the third card, I'm not surprised, the death card. This is about shedding those skins. Now, the only way we make changes is to shed a few skins. We have to. We can't hold on to everything. So don't feel that you are afraid. Don't let the fear come in, is what I'm trying to say, to shed another skin. It's time to shed it, especially today. Like, let it go so that when you open to that new moon and tomorrow, when you open to that new moon on Tuesday, you have space to grow. So don't be afraid of this card. This is shedding of a skin, right? We have to do a lot of shedding. In fact, we were talking about that on the podcast with Mark, right? He called it shedding. A spiritual awakening is a shedding. And he was saying, 
It's not as easy as you think just because we're spiritual, right? We don't do a lot of spiritual bypassing, not in my work anyway. We go to it, right? So it really can be a little difficult sometimes to do this. But I will tell you from all of my experiences, I will tell you, I will tell you, I will tell you, it's so much better when you work through it. It really is. So don't be afraid to do this, especially the perfect days are Monday, Tuesday, or tonight and tomorrow. Tuesday, we go into that new moon. Shining light. Renew your hope. Renew your visions. Open your perspective. Be diligent, but open your perspective. Fly side by side with that one mind energy, that consciousness, collective, and your own energy. Be at one. And also have your path. Have your grace. Don't give up. Shed skin. Everybody, get your scrubs out. Everybody, shed something. Let it go. Peel it away. This is how we grow. Yes, it can be raw, but that is okay. All right, so let's just take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Hey, Barbara, thanks for joining. Hey, Tina, good to see you. Haven't seen you in a while either. Let me know how this resonates with you. And again, if you have not checked out the podcast, it aired yesterday. It's an awesome interview. I've had Mark Gober back on the show. He originally did his book, The Upside Down Thinking, an end to upside down thinking. And this is an end to upside down living. It's a really great book, great discussion podcast talking about consciousness. What do you think? Consciousness first or the brain first? What happens if we, we have like near-death experiences, right? What happens when we have savants and energy like that? Great podcast, it really is. All right, let me know how that resonated with you. Give me some hashtag, give me some roses. Let me know if you'd like a card. Let me know if you would like a card. All right, so New Moon Meditation Tuesday in the group. I'll also be having, I'm trying to remember what else I have going on. Fridays, Practice Works is doing a meditation series, 8 a.m. Come join us. Yes, Kika, get your card. Come join us, 8 a.m., 15-minute meditation. I don't know who's leading it this week. I let it two weeks ago. Becca led it this Friday. Come join us on Instagram or Facebook as well. I will be having a summer solstice fire circle at my house. Let me know if you're interested. All right. And also, too, Boot camp coming around in September. Hey, Barbara. Yes. All right. All right. So you guys are catching up here. Let's see. All right. Kika, I saw you post. Where are my cards? Here they are. All right. Kika. Kika, what's going on in California? All right. Kika. Kika, you got a nine of pentacles. All right, so the Nine of Pentacles is really kind of a lucky card. This is like gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Things are building. Things are working. Look at all this energy coming together. Look at how it's working for you. So keep working with what you're doing, but don't forget the gratitude. More is coming. Nines are always about completion, but not almost. Moving to Italy. Oh, my dear, you're going back home. Ah, that's excellent. Buongiorno. Now, I don't know if that was the right word, but excellent. So more is coming for you. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm glad to hear that. Yay. Excellent. All right. Carla. Carla over here. Carla, did you ask for a card? I think you did. Yes. Card, please. All right. Then Kate. Here we go. Carla, your house looks beautiful. Here you go. Carla. Carla, we have a three of swords. All right. So this is not always the most favorite card. This is a healing card. All right. This is a Healing card, especially for the mental plane, all right? Looks like it has a little bit of blood in it, right? Like the way it's wound up. But this is of the mind. So the thing is, this is a good time to do any kind of mindset work. Tapping. Tapping is probably the best one for a card like this because this is like old thinking, all right? And so it's time to like wrap it up, get rid of it, all right? Get rid of it, especially today and tomorrow so you can set some new intentions, all right? If you need some help, let me know. Let's do a session. Let's do a tapping. All right, Kate, you were next. Kate, what is going on? Where are you now, Kate? I miss seeing you. Kate, you got the Son of Cups. All right, so this is about some some of that Yang influence for you, but it's also the hard influence. So it's like it's okay to have both parts of us, the masculine and feminine. So the Sun is a little bit more of that. It's a little bit more of like trusting in like that energy within you that makes your heart. All right, instead of being like feminine about it, you can open up to hard to see the card. A little bit more of that masculine energy for you, but it's a nurturing energy. So I don't want to say don't have that energy, but it's an influence of that, of bringing that in, all right, so that you can. And I feel like you do that with your nature, with your nature work, but trust the heart that's coming for you, all right? Trust the heart that you're feeling. We have the swans. Those are loyal characters, right? Look how the card 
can't see it. Look how the cup, I mean, is filled with these beautiful rainbow colors. So notice your heart energy. Be a little bit more, I don't want to say aggressive, but out there, okay? That's what I think the card is trying to say. Let me know if that makes sense. A little bit, a little bit more out there with your feelings, all right? All right, let's see. Yes till the spring, Kika. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. All right, let's see. Where am I? Barbara, card for you, and then I'll come back over here to Tina. And interested, yes. All right, Barbara, you got the hangman. Love this card. It's a great card for you, great card for your Buddhist practices. This is about just like having patience, pulling your energy around you, looking at life with a different perspective. Look at those blue, those red eyes, radar. And really just like hanging upside down. Let everything have a different perspective on how you're looking at things right now. Pull the energy in, all right? Good card. I actually love that card when it shows up for me. All right, Tina. Eight of Wands. All right, this is like rapid change. You've got a lightning bolt. You've got all these wands. This is hot flash, passions, desires. All right, big change. What is going on for you? And look for that aha moment, all right, so that you can. The lightning bolt really always does like shift changes. Things are going to strike you. All right, perfect. Yes, Kika. All right, Tina, let me know how that resonates. All right, fire circle. Yes, Kate, definitely come. All right, who did I miss? All right, who did I miss? Kika, I wish you all the luck in your move for sure. Definitely. Carla, good card. I think I got you. Mercedes, I don't know if I get your card. Here's draw one for you. Mercedes. Father of Pentacles. So this is like that entrepreneur spirit. Like really own it, really take it, be grounded. You know how to make choices. Look at the antlers. Look how beautiful they are. So be strong in the work that you're doing. You have that spirit within you for sure. All right. I think I got everybody. Got some hearts on that one. All right. All right, I think I got everybody. It's live now. If you come on later, give me a hashtag replay. And if you want a card on the replay, let me know. All right, y'all, I have lots going on in the circle. Come join us. All right, check out the podcast. We've had some amazing guests, all right, on the, on the show. Last week was Mark Gober. Really good, really good conversation. So be strong in your energy, guys. Do not give up this week. I know it can be that tempting dark energy until we move into the new moon on Tuesday. It can be really hard sometimes. Like, why am I doing what I'm doing? I've been there too. But I promise you, the tools are what helps me. Someone asked me today, like, how did you do these changes? The tools. Finding the tools that work for you. The techniques, the breathing, the modalities. Sitting with myself. Even like a little shifting of the diet. Like making these changes for myself. It's late summer. All right, late summer is almost a season unto itself in Chinese medicine. We need to replenish the body, the mind, and especially the spirit. All right, let's take a moment, take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Returning to those intentions, returning to those elevated emotions for your week. One more inhale and exhale. Be strong. Show up for yourself each and every day. As Dr. Joe says, love yourself enough to do it. Thanks for joining me to your spirit. Namaste. Have a great week, everybody.